Um, it's, it's a real honour for me to be here this morning welcoming you to this Topping Out ceremony which I think we all believe will bring good luck to the project. I know that it needs good luck. Um, it's been developed through skills and uh, endeavour and um, the sheer ambition and vision that, that underpins this. And, and the scale of the build, is, as, as you can see, is, is just truly impressive. There's over two kilometres of drainage that's been laid. Um, there's nearly 1,400 precast units that have been erected on site and just shy of 300 windows um, throughout the whole site. And since September 2021, um, there's been 320,000 hours worked on site, all resulting in this building that we're standing in now. My job before I was a politician was as a teacher at St Columbus High School. So I'm really delighted to be here because I know the difference this school building is going to make to children and young people in Dunfermline but also to the staff who work in our schools. I see all the eager faces here and it's, it really is good to see you all, all here because this is, this is really about you and giving you the best, the best opportunities going forward and helping you to reach your potential and achieve positive destinations, be that progressing to further or higher education, training or into work. Um, but a, a modern, well-equipped learning environment is one important factor in that journey and, and we are determined to give you the, the best opportunity that we can. And this, this campus is the latest example of the Council's continuing journey to modernise our school estate and provide the best facilities we can for our young people. It's not just about education and learning but also the climate change emergency and, and making sure that this is to the best you know, standards to, to reduce carbon and um, save, save energy. And that idea of partnership and collaboration is at the heart of this campus, in particular as it brings together our two secondary schools, Woodmill and St Columba, with Fife College, and each retaining the, their own identity, but sharing facilities and I hope assisting each other to support our young people. It really is such an exciting moment for all of us who have worked so hard to make the case for uh, new high schools for Dunfermline and for everyone that has worked so tirelessly to deliver this project to ambitious timescales and make it happen. I live round the corner from the campus and every day I walk past and I can see the progress literally day by day. Fremlin Learning Campus is going to be a really absolutely brilliant example of what we can deliver when we're ambitious and determined to make things happen. It really is going to be a truly outstanding campus for all of us to be proud of. We're here for the students and the staff and the community and the business community. We're here with excitement and we're developing a real pathway for people. Starting at any age, at any point in life, you can go to wherever you want to do, we can help you do it through the school and the education system, through the college system, and further on from there as well, into jobs, into university if you want to do that, or do your degree at Fife College indeed. But it's a real opportunity for us to build a really unique pathway. We've done it other places, we can do it here even better. Listen, this is an incredible um, building, and it's an incredible partnership and collaboration. And we want to congratulate the contractors who've worked so well together, the schools and council and all of the people, politicians and colleagues and councillors who've worked together to make this possible and happen. It's a, it's a fantastic day for West Fife. For the Top and Out ceremony, it's great to be in this position, to be able to say that we're at the highest point um, of the build. So it's just a great opportunity to have schools like this, to have so many fantastic facilities for the local community. Um, can't wait to see it in August 2024 with our young people and with the adults that will be using some of these facilities. Just over there we can now see the college starting so the whole campus is starting to really come alive and um, been a great opportunity to work with partners and just think what that's going to offer for everybody.